What's up, kids? Yep. Regular clothes and stuff. Got an update for you. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton Speed Shop. I'm just about to go to my lunch break. Found a belt in town. It's not cheap, but I can have it today. Actually, two of them, so I'm picking them up. But so I got to do that, and then I'm gonna pick up lunch, and then I'm gonna come back to my government job, which is right over there. <sighs> Yep, it's like 73, 4, 8 degrees or something. So that's pretty cool. It's actually not cool, it's warm, but you can get it. Let's go get a belt. We made it. Sure, where I'm at. One guess. I'm at Napa. The only ones who had it. So, let's go and get it. And then uh, I'm going to pick up some lunch and I'm going to go back to work. A little hiccup, they didn't pull them yet. Uh, we called 7 30 this morning but that's fine i have them 60 bucks it was with the discount for the service <laughs> oh, anybody want to buy a hot rod black red wheels runs great belts will be extra what's up kids Iron Horse Garage loves Big Red. They've said it. All right, so here's the deal. I tried a couple of different battery chargers on uh, Cl for Clyde's battery to no avail. They would work for Bonnie. So I'm guessing they don't, they're not reading voltage. So I got out the old school. Now, if you've ever seen that big green extension cord, which is hanging up on the wall right over there, see it over there? By the, yep, okay, good. I got that when I was a teenager. 96% sure that I got this at the same time. Here, let's, let's drop that down. Woo, hey. So, it's got this 55 amp start. I'll tell you what, boost your face right off your neck, man. Anyway. So, we got a two amp right here. So, I'm gonna put on the two amp. And we're gonna plug it in. Now this is old enough where you gotta hook up the battery terminals and then plug it in. So now I don't know if you can see. The gauge right there. So we put on 10 amps, is it gonna to go to 10? No, nope, it doesn't want to do anything. That's six volts. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my Test room to see if there's anything going in there. Hold on. All right, set it on the bolt on the bolts. I'm gonna hook it up there. We got two amps cooking. What are those channel? Those big channels saying they put on a boil? Well, we're putting it on simmer. Red, red, black to black. So <laughs> red to positive, black to negative, just like you had it hooked up. So we got 13.5 volts going in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit on here for a little while, and then I'm going to and then I'm going to put one of the trickle chargers on and see if it'll you know, work. Anyway, all right. 
I showed you earlier today when I was at lunch that with some belts, which, well, oh, hold on. This is like my first date. Same belt for Bonnie. Now, this one's hopefully gonna work better than what was on there. We're gonna hook up that alternator. I'm gonna twist that key and see what happens. So, hold on a second. Look at that, look how messy that is. Whoever's in charge of cleaning up the shops, failing. Isn't that a song? Come fail away, come fail away. No, it's sail, sail away. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna literally, literally, not figuratively, we're just gonna snug this guy up a little bit into the block. Now, what's the key? What's the key? Don't let that stud touch the block, yes. Kevin, cool, thanks buddy. All right, so now we're just, we're just giving her a little snuggy. We already talked about that though, didn't we? All right, now when you're messing with a belt, it's literally, I'm gonna say literally, this is literally and figuratively super easy. Here, let's, yep. Here, watch this. All right, ratchet. You put wrap it around the that guy, and then around both the pulleys, right? And then you put it around that guy. That's it. That's what you got to do. And then you're gonna tighten it up by going like, rah, right? Now, <laughs> save a lot of headache and heartache and curse words. I'm not going to show you this going in because it's, it's not good. I'm getting pretty good at it now, but anyway, stick around. Once this is back in place, we're going to twist that key <laughs> and we're going to just let happen what happens. Now, hopefully this thing isn't going to go. That means I gotta shut up, tighten it, and then I gotta do that over and over. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you in 15 minutes to, you know, four and a half days. So, see you in a minute. All right, I've become pretty good at this. <laughs> yep, maybe. Just a little bit snug down there. I'm just gonna get a little 916 wrench. Hold on a second. All right, so, got my wrench. It's right here. Yep. And you put it on your, the head of your bolt you can't see, but you can feel it, it's right there. And then, you know, I don't think I put it on there right I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. Okay. Not horrible, but we can still get a little bit more out of it by something. Yeah. Yeah, I got something I've got to. All right, keep your hand on you, make sure this is only. Yep. Now, what you do is you get your smallest pry bar, like this, and then you just kind of find a spot down there that you can, yep. But first, you set up your tools, which I didn't. Okay, everybody pretend that I did, okay? Pretend. 
Okay, pretend. Put it down there where it's not gonna, you know, do something. And watch your overflow tank because it doesn't feel good on the knuckles. Do that right now. Okay, let's see. It's, it's, yeah, it's something. We're going live right now. See, watch. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, right now. I didn't want to mess around. Let me know if you hear a squeal. You heard it. Do it again. Tim, Bill, everyone else who thinks Clyde's the best. It's not. It's this one. It's spicy in here. I'm going to step outside for a minute. All right, so it worked. I put this on there while I was messing with the car. And now it's charging. That orange, steady orange light right there. See it? Right there. It means it's charging. So now it will bring it all the way up. 12 volts and keep it there. So we're gonna let that just overnight. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is done getting spicy. I'm gonna get my beverage. Okay, I'm outside where it's not as spicy. But I'll tell you what, for a September, late summer, look at that. Beautiful. Hear the geese? Where are they at? Anyway, 
late September. It's almost October, actually. Like next week. So, anyway, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, hope you enjoyed the videos leading up to this now, or the videos. Video, videos, the stuff before this. And then, hope you enjoyed Bonnie coming to life like that. Just need a belt, man. Best part now is, it's gotta take it for a drive. See if that alternator stays, stays cooking. There's a car coming. I'm gonna look like I'm a weirdo. They're staring at me. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this along with that. And uh, don't forget to, oh wait, it's over here. Thing and that. And then check out these people. Keep on wrenching.